Hello, I'm Michael Bach with the Center for Digital Scholarship and Services at Oregon State University Libraries and Press. I'm going to spend the next few minutes answering some frequently asked questions about open access at OSU. First, what is open access? Open access constitutes free and unrestricted access to the results of scholarly research, which may include articles or other publications, as well as data sets and related material. It is transforming the way research and scientific inquiry are conducted. There are two routes to making your scholarship available open access. The first, known as green open access, is to make your articles available in an open access repository. OSU's institutional repository, Scholars Archive at OSU, provides global access to scholarship produced at OSU and is regularly ranked among the top 10 single institution repositories in the country. PubMed is a disciplinary open access repository for biomedical research. Articles available in Scholars Archive at OSU, PubMed, and other repositories are indexed and available on the web via Google and Google Scholar. The second route, Gold Open Access, involves publishing in journals that make their content accessible for free on the web. What are some benefits of open access? Open access increases the visibility and impact of your scholarship. Countless studies show that articles available through open access are cited more often than those available only through subscription. Because of the increased visibility of open access articles, impact is increased as demonstrated by increased citations and download statistics. Open access also makes knowledge available to people in the developing world, not just to colleagues and students at institutions that can afford subscriptions. Open access supports OSU's land-grant mission. A key element of the land-grant mission is public access. Taxpayers fund universities and faculty to do research. Open access allows the fruits of that research to be read and used by taxpayers, decision makers, teachers, and students. OSU's Extension and Experiment Station recognizes the importance of making OSU research available to the public by making every one of their publications available open access. What has OSU done? The Library Center for Digital Scholarship and Services proactively works with faculty to deposit their scholarship in Scholars Archive at OSU. There are well over 1,000 faculty articles already available in Scholars Archive at OSU, including this article by Jane Lubchenco and colleagues. Open access involves more than scholarly articles. In addition to the open access availability of over 6,000 extension and experiment station publications in Scholars Archive at OSU, every thesis and dissertation produced at the university since 1996 is now available in the institutional repository. What else has OSU done? The Faculty Senate passed an open access resolution in 2005 supporting the principle of open access to OSU scholarly research. Individual colleges and departments at Oregon State have passed open access policies. And the university joined more than 300 leading international research, scientific, and cultural institutions in signing the Berlin Declaration on Open Access. What are other institutions doing? Increasing numbers of universities and colleges around the world are establishing open access policies in order to give faculty more control over how their work is used and disseminated. What can you do to make your research available open access? OSU faculty are encouraged to make their research available open access in the Scholars Archive at OSU Institutional Repository and by publishing in open access journals within their disciplines. You can add your name to the list of faculty who have already given the libraries their permission to deposit articles to Scholars Archive at OSU on their behalf and consider Scholars Archive at OSU as a way to share your data and other research materials with the world. Contact your library faculty subject specialist, faculty in the Center for Digital Scholarship and Services, and the SPARC web pages for more information about open access and how it can elevate the impact of your scholarship.